for the, the preaching team joyfully announces the new retreat season and the new retreat theme for a brand new season, which begins October 15th. And for those of you who haven't had a chance to hear about the new theme, the suspense must be keen in your mind. <laughs> The, uh, the theme for the year 21-22 season is a portrait of Christ encountering the truth. In the 18th chapter of the Holy Gospel according to St. John, at the trial of Jesus, Pontius Pilate asked, What is truth? And it is sad but true. More than ever, we have to ask ourselves, what is truth? More than ever, we need and we crave and encounter a relationship with the truth. The truth what is absolute, the truth what is eternal. The truth, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Crucified and risen. We've heard a lot about climate change and social changes and wokeism and but we cannot ignore the pollution of secularism, the pollution of relativism, of an anything goes mentality. The tragedy of Christian persecutions around the world. The deliberate burnings of Catholic churches in Canada and elsewhere. The abandonment of the institutional church by some of our younger generations. And even some reckless bishops and clergy. All of these things have put a smoke screen over the truth. But the truth is hope right there. As one of my heroes, uh, Winston Churchill, said, Never give in and never give up, because we have Jesus Christ. Despite all that's going on, and many of you know, I even admitted that I'm from Massachusetts. <laughs> and I did not see, I, oh, I saw the Chicago White Sox somewhere, and uh, the Astros represented, but no one had any Boston White Sox <laughs> on tonight. But that's okay. You know, in Massachusetts is where Harvard was founded in 1636. And the original motto for Harvard was Veritas Christus et Ecclesiae. Imagine the motto for Harvard in, in, in translated, truth for Christ and his church. Look it up. You don't have to believe me if you look it up. And in recent months, there has been a call amongst many of the faculty at Harvard and even amongst the students to abandon this most revered model. And any connection to Jesus Christ, who is the truth itself. The truth was gazing upon Pilate, and somehow he missed it. In the Blessed Sacrament, the truth gazes upon you. And the truth desires to have an encounter and a relationship with you. During this new retreat season, we will have a unique opportunity to paint a portrait of Christ, the truth. Through our study of scripture and the stories of Christ's encounters uh, with others and his personal encounter with you. Jesus Christ, our Lord. He who is true. Himself. Now, my art teacher, Sister Clementine, rather sturdy girl, she taught us that every portrait possesses light. The portrait of Christ contains the ultimate light, for he is the light of the world. And by our baptism, we are called to be lights of the world in imitation of Christ the truth. 
by living and preaching the truth of Jesus Christ in the most unsettled society right now. And I admire you all. Thank you for choosing to be lights in your parishes, uh, to bring others uh, to the light on the tree. You don't have an easy job. It's not easy being a light. But every light pierces the darkness. And so, uh, Lori, our pastoral associate, will 